Hey there everyone, before I kill myself on these old attic stairs behind me, I'm going to replace them and if you're looking to install new attic stairs uh, from scratch, I'll take you through those steps as well. Looking at what we have here, uh, this old set of attic stairs, they're not even safe anymore. Look at that, they don't sit flush. The uh, the two uh, the hinges here are basically bro breaking off. Look at that. And um, you know, I can get up there, but it's not safe. Definitely want to replace them. It's time. I'm going to take you through the steps right now. But let me just show you what I purchased here. I got a, a new set of uh, stairs. I'm going to, if you'd like uh, to order online, I'll link to, uh, to one of the stairs that's similar to these down below. But I wanted aluminum. And the other thing that I did was uh, check the dimensions. So made sure that the ceiling height worked for me. The ceiling in this garage is 9 feet 3 inches, so that works. goes up to 10, 10 foot 3. The um, rough opening size, 25 by 54. I measured that before buying these, which is important to do. Now, if you're going to install new, it's good to go up into your attic and check what the spacing is of your ceiling joists up there, and then make a determination as to what size stairs you want to buy based on that, so you have to do as little framing work as possible up upstairs and then it shows you the uh, swing clearance and the landing space you need but in the garage we have plenty of room there so we're gonna go up and take a quick look at the rough opening and see what we're dealing with but I also want to show you um, the other situation that we have up there with regards to the existing stairs so the rough opening here is just about what we need it might be a quarter inch to uh, too short. I'm going to double check that after I get the other ladders at the other ladder out of the package. But the other thing is, is that this this is definitely is not square. Uh, I did I did measure check that measuring from corner to corner, and um, so I might have to do some trimming of some of these blocks. But the other thing I want to do is, you know, the main the ladder is mainly supported up against here where the hinges go. So I'm going to put two by fours here. Uh, off camera to block it out and uh, finish the framing okay and then uh, that way we have a, a secure spot to install the new stairs against what we need to do is uh, provide some bracing underneath these stairs on both ends which you'll watch me do and then uh, we're gonna come up into the attic and cut out the uh, the existing nails that are holding this ladder in with a sawzall and we'll get the stairs out that way drop the new ones in screw them in and it's gonna be pretty simple so the first thing I want to do here is uh, take this trim off and you know that's also beaten up and the ceiling isn't in great shape I'm expecting a lot of that stuff to uh, to start flaking down as I pull that off but the trim's got to come off and then we're gonna replace it with some new stuff when we're all done. So I mentioned that we have to put some uh, bracing across uh, on either end to be able to support not only the old stairs after we cut out the nails that are holding them in but also to support the new stairs uh, to drop them in the slot before we we attach them into the into the uh, rough opening so um, you can see this little reveal here or this little lip right so the idea is to on the bottom of the uh, or on the ceiling of the garage you screw in a 2 by 4 like this okay um, and a fasten it on either end with a screw that's going into a, uh, a ceiling joist so you've got it here like this okay and then you should be able to and one on the other side there's a little reveal as well although not as much and then you should be able to open the stairs while you're still upstairs and climb down and then go get the lag bolts and everything else you need to attach it permanently alright now I've got the bracing up there and uh, on both ends I measured it according to what uh, we measured down here on the new ladder and it's the, basically the same dimensions as the old one so you can still open the, the door here 
okay? But the frame won't slide down because the frame is being supported there, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is go up inside with a sawzall, cut this, well, first I'm gonna hoist this up into the hole through using the ladder so it's up there. And then I'm gonna cut this out, pull this out of the way, drop the new one in, secure it temporarily, push the door down, and come out. I'm bringing everything I need in this bucket up to the attic right now. It just makes it easier. And um, I already have the Sawzall up there. The stairs, the new stairs are up there. And uh, I've got the uh, cordless screw gun. I've got a bunch of screws just to hold it in there temporarily. I have a drill bit in case I need to pilot hole. I have some snips down there for the um, zip ties that are holding the stairs together. I'm supposed to re remove those at the end. Tape measure, a square, in case I need that. And make sure that everything's square up there. Oh, I gotta grab some shims and throw them in here too. I came up in the attic now and I got the old stairs pulled up behind me. I'm gonna get the saws all out and cut the nails out from around the uh, the perimeter here. And you can see I put some additional uh, support uh, behind the uh, where the hinges are gonna go. And uh, it's getting pretty hot in here. I did install the attic fan recently, and you might have seen that video. But it hasn't kicked on yet, which means it's not quite 95 degrees in here, but it feels like it's very close. So what you're going to watch me do here is attach a rope to the stairs, so that way I can lower it down by myself down to the garage floor. Okay, so um, I've decided to uh, knock some of these things out here and um, and reframe a little bit on this side. It's not what was the what was happening with the prior stairs was these short blocks were actually screwed right in to the stairs, and um, they weren't exactly even. And uh, also, I don't like how that's supported. So these are going to come out. I'm going to put. Um, I'm going to put a 2x4 all the way across to the end, secure it on both sides, and then from there I'm going to uh, put the blocks back, or some different size blocks, make sure it's really secure, and then we're going to drop the stairs in and see how it fits. Well we've got it uh, all framed out now, got rid of all the old stuff and I feel better about what you see here. and. Um, uh, the other thing I did here was uh, I didn't like how this wire was exposed so I drilled some holes all the way down. After the project's over I'm going to disconnect it and run the wire through to hide it appropriately. So now what we have to do is uh, drop the stairs in and uh, make sure we're all ready to go and make sure it's square. good. We're going to check for square by measuring diagonally both ways and they need to be about the same distance. Okay, we've got about 58 and a quarter there. To the other side. Awesome. Same. So now I'm going to temporarily screws in here on either side just to hold them then I can climb down and uh, take care of the ladder and or secure the sides first and then take care of the ladder and then we're basically done and these screws here are just temporary just to hold it and uh, I have no leverage well we've got the the stairs temporarily screwed in and uh, opening them up and it opened nicely and going to try now shutting it 
and it looks like it shuts perfectly too. I'm very comfortable with how it's aligned. So now um, the next step that I want to take is to adjust the uh, adjust the length of the legs. So if I don't adjust the length of the legs, you know they make these stairs extra long, so that way they can fit ceilings that have a high height. Okay, so could be maybe you've got nine foot ceilings, 10 foot ceilings in your house, or you've got a tall garage. Now you see if I leave these at this length, we've got that bend here. They provide a chart, okay? And this chart basically tells you, depending on how high your ceiling is, it tells you how much you need to cut off from the bottom of the ladder. So I already measured the edge of the frame down to the floor. It's 110 and a quarter inches. So here it says if your height is less than 111 inches and more than 110 inches, you're going to cut off 14 inches off of the bottom of the ladder. We're going to do that after we cut the 14 inches off. We're going to add these uh, ex you know, feet or shoes or whatever you want to call it to the bottom of the ladder and then uh, it bolts in. You, you pre-drill and bolt it in that way. So that's what we're going to do and after we do that then we're going to be able to climb up here and permanently secure the steps in with the lag bolts they provide. So we're going to measure 14 inches up. I'm going to make some marks on a few spots. So now we're ready to cut through this. I'm going to use a hacksaw instead of my jigsaw with a metal blade, really because most of you are going to end up using this as well. So I'm going to do it uh, old school. And the good part here is it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because the uh, shoes or the bottom of the, uh, the supports of the ladder are going to go over this and they've left room for error. So I'm just going to, you know, we measured well, I'm going to cut down through here and I'm going to do the other side as well. And then we're going to attach the legs. What they want you to do is get this on here and then find a, find a spot where the stairs are fully uh, opened and uh, seated properly and then put a mark in the center hole and then we're going to drill. So they give us a bolt on a lock washer, put the lock washer on the back side, get the socket on there, we'll tighten it up. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. feels very strong, happy with this. Now that we have everything secured with the lag bolts, I can remove the support boards. So the last step in the project that really is inconsequential to the installation but um, we'll make it look a lot better, and I'm gonna do that off of this video, not as not part of this video, but afterwards is um, I've got some extra sheetrock here. I'm gonna replace some of that mess that you see around the edge, and I have some new trim, new pine trim that's gonna go around the perimeter of the opening to make it look all nice. So um, maybe I'll make that part of the thumbnail later when I'm finished with it. So. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you. And if you have any questions about installing attic stairs, please let me know. Thank you and have a great day. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I would appreciate it if you would do that. Thanks.